Victoria Newland kind of blithely announced during congressional testimony last year that, oh, by the way, we have these bio labs in Ukraine. Yeah. And that was like kind of ignored, and the people who covered it got attacked for covering it. But the fact remains there are U.S. bio labs in Ukraine. Why would we have bio labs in Ukraine? Um, we have bio labs in Ukraine because we're developing bio weapons. And, you know, and those bio weapons are using all kinds of new synthetic uh, biology and CRISPR technology and genetic engineering techniques that were not available to previous generation. And they can make frightening, frightening stuff. When the Patriot Act reopened the bioweapons arm race in 2001, the Pentagon began putting a lot of money into bioweapons, but they transferred the authority for uh, biosecurity to one agency in the, in the HHS uh, called the National Institute for Infectious and Allergic Diseases, run by Anthony Fauci. So in 2,800 years since Hippocrates, Doctors have been trying to figure out how to make microbes less infectious and less deadly. And this, the guys who are involved in this, there's 36,000 what are called life scientists, but they're actually death scientists, um, who are now employed full time in developing you know, microbes that will, can be used to kill people. But how she built labs all over the country. 2014, three bugs escaped from three different labs. And they were high profile breaks and they were very dangerous things, smallpox and, uh, and a couple of other uh, bad, bad, bad microbes. The public learned about it and there was a lot of publicity and Congress held hearings. And so Obama signed a moratorium that shut down the 18 worst of Anthony Fauci's experiments. And instead of obeying that law, Anthony Fauci shifted a lot of his operations offshore. And those operations ended up, most of them in the Wuhan lab, and then a lot of them went to the Ukraine. So a lot of that science now, and it's funded, not, you know, Fauci was funding lots of it. But then the, the other government agencies began to get confidence in, you know, their ability to get away with it. And most of it is being funded by the Department of Defense. The most of all, the biggest single funder is USAID, which is, you know, a CIA cutout.